Hi, and welcome to another episode of Wednesday Weirdness. Sorry it's been so long since the last episode. Episode 21 is what you're watching now, guys. So, welcome back and thanks for hanging in. So, since it's been so long since the last episode, we'll call this Season 2 just starting. And... Um... Well... Here's a good topic to kick off a new season. Let's talk about how weird some people can be. But we're not going to name names because we're not here to do that. But yeah, you know. Some people can be pretty darn weird. Weirder than that. Now. I'm not poking fun at any of you guys out there if you're weird. Because that would make me... A hypocrite. I'm the king of weird. If weird was ever a place, I'd be king of it. But, <clears throat> let's have a think about some of the weird things people do. That will include weird collections, weird obsessions, weird habits. Weird habits like picking noses. Now, you might actually think that's a pretty normal habit for people to have. But what about eating snot? Now, I don't know any people personally who do this, but... Um, it would be pretty weird for a grown person to be doing this. Although... A lot of us would have done it when we were babies. It's pretty normal for a baby to do that, but for a grown adult, man or woman, nah. Okay. Lawmakers, they can be very weird as well. Now, I've already done an episode covering weird laws, but some laws are so weird, made by certain countries, that they deserve to be given the mention twice. So, like, did you know, for example, that any sign of affection is illegal in Dubai? No, no. It might be seen as somewhat racist for me to be calling someone other as a whole other culture weird, but holding hands that's perfectly normal. Hugging and kissing perfectly normal. They're not exposing themselves indecently by doing so. So what's wrong with it? Yeah, what are up with that? Grammar. It can be quite weird. It depends on how people use it. Now. What I've just said there. What are up with that? I sound like I are baboon. Because baboon's better than weasel. <laughs> and here I am poking fun at the way I talk. Speaking of making fun of the way people act and talk, that can be pretty weird in itself. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sink to an all-time low and say disabilities make you weird, because they don't. You're still perfectly normal with disabilities. But there are some... Weird conditions out there. When I say conditions, I actually mean disorders. <laughs> like pica, for example, it makes whoever suffers from it crave 
inedible substances such as uh, grass and metal and sand. You know, like you name it. Now that would be weird outside of a normal situation where a woman might suffer from it pregnancy. It should be pretty normal for that to happen. Uh um okay. I don't want to name the next one because No, no, don't make me. So we'll move on to the next part of this topic. Which is dreams. Now, I've already covered an episode topic, a, a topic in an episode about dreams. Check a few episodes back. But some people have pretty weird dreams and give shout outs to someone I know here, my best mate, Darren Stratton, he has the weirdest dreams and they're always lucid because he always remembers every detail of them, let's just say for example, that he dreams that he's stuck in a corridor, an endless corridor, where he just is found, where he just finds himself walking endlessly, and then suddenly he finds himself in a room on the other side of a wall, as if by magic. No door, no way in, and he stops and looks around. And he wakes up as soon as he finds the exit of the room, which is through the same wall, or a different wall than what he came in. Darren, how would that dream end if you had it? Comment below, please. <laughs> um, right. People who claim to be time travellers obviously are weird in the head. Because you have cases of people claiming to be from... The future all the time here you hear about it all the time they could claim to come from years like 3019 or 2987 or the year 5000 um just to deliver a warning of something that would happen in the future that would already have happened by their time but the question is these people who come back making that claim can they prove it Where's their time machine? <laughs> uh, anyone can claim to be from the future and have someone totally believe it because they're gullible enough to. <sighs> Weirdos. <laughs> Go and get your head examined. <laughs> oh dear. And another very weird thing some people some people claim is to have lived past lives as different people and to be reincarnations of those different people. I don't believe in this sort of junk myself. But I do know that these people also need their heads examined. Ah! I'm going to stop myself there if they're not from a religion that actually believes in that kind of stuff. So, yes, if they're Hindu and they believe they can be reincarnated into a different creature upon death, that's perfectly normal for them. So, I'm sorry if I just sounded racist again. I don't, I don't mean that. But I'm talking about people who are not part of that believe in their reincarnations of people who lived a long time ago clue you in 
people outside of religions that believe in reincarnation. But there's no such thing as reincarnation. You're just a weirdo. <laughs> And that's for people who are not Hindu, or Buddhist, or anything like that who believe in reincarnation. If you believe you're a reincarnation of someone, shut up. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that's it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're watching this in the year 2987, don't send someone back <laughs> to warn me not to make this video because I've already gone ahead and done it. And that being said, next week's episode will be a doozy. I'll see you then. Have a good week.